Harry's wife. Silly sugars. Ah, yes, good old sugar lumps. Stupid buggers that they are, invariably squawking in their epsilon semi-moron way about matters that they have no real understanding, evidencing a slavish devotion to the Duchess of Sussex. Lord knows why. Well, of course, we know that part of it is that she represents the hopes and dreams that they have that anybody could become a princess or queen and have access to lots of money. And they don't like it, the fact that people have turned on her, not because of her skin colour, but everything to do with the fact that she's a narcissist and her behaviour. Of course, we all like to have a laugh at the sugar lumps because they're a dim-witted lot. And if you haven't already accessed parts one to six of Let's All Laugh at the Sugars, then you really need to ask yourself what you've been doing with your life recently. Go and watch those videos, but do not be holding anything of a liquid nature and don't have anything in your mouth when you're watching. You're liable to spray it all over the screen or choke. But what is it that the silly buggers that the silly sugars are? What have they been getting up to as of late? Well, according to The Mirror and an article by Ryan Merrifield, Harry's wife fans demand apology after article brands her narcissist like Trump. Ah, yes. The low cognitive functioning sugars seem to believe that they can bang on the desk and demand an apology because their queen has been labelled a narcissist. Notwithstanding the fact that it's completely accurate and the evidence that supports that is overwhelming and, of course, the analysis from your glorious narrator demonstrates that that's the case, but also, who are they to demand that an apology be given? Ah, okay. This is the way of mob rule, isn't it? This small yet vocal group. I don't like what you're saying. Of course, Harry's wife is allowed to speak her truth. Harry's wife is allowed to talk about her love story. Harry's wife is able to give her perspective. And as we all know, it's the narcissistic perspective. But everybody else can fuck off when it comes to speaking about what happened. Harry's wife is allowed carte blanche because she's Harry's wife, because she's St. Harry's wife of all things empathic, and is allowed to say what she wants. But the minute anybody contradicts her, the minute anybody criticises her, no, 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 that's not allowed. No matter how accurate what they have to say, no matter what, that the fact there is freedom of speech and freedom of expression afforded those individuals also. Not when it comes to the sugar lumps. They have to close it down, exhibiting one of the many nasty traits of this group, which is shown time and time again. You are not allowed to express your opinion. They are. If you express an opinion which contradicts that which they hold, you're nasty, you're engaging in hate speech, and you must be cancelled. The article continues. Harry's wife fans are demanding a publication apologise for an article branding her a narcissist akin to Donald Trump. The political opinion piece, titled 2022 is the year we all finally got tired of the narcissists, also compared the Duchess of Sussex to the likes of Kanye West, Elizabeth Holmes and Sam Bankman-Fried. But some have slammed author Joanna Weiss's work as racist on social media. Yes, well, the ones doing the slamming are clowns. It comes after, as the Mirror previously reported, Netflix docuseries Harry and Harry's Wife allegedly left Prince William utterly furious due to further attacks on the royals. On top of the series, part of the couple's multi-million pound deal with the streaming service, the Sussexes have far from kept a low profile this year. But they, they didn't they want privacy? Earlier this month, they received an award at the Nipple of Grope ceremony in New York, while Harry's new autobiography, Spare, is out in January. Adding to the controversial allegations made in their bombshell chat with Oprah Winfrey last year, they have both featured in further interviews since, leaving the firm uncomfortable. Referring to various narcissists across 2022, Vice's column includes the line, some of them got their comeuppance, and some of them got worse. Our disinterest. Christopher Boozy, who appears in the Netflix show, wrote on Twitter, Harry's wife's only offence is having defended herself while being black. Well, of course, he's desperate to support his paymistress because without her, he will probably have to file for bankruptcy again as a consequence of not being able to pay his rent. 
In contrast, he branded others in the piece criminals, and in the case of West, an anti-Semite. He said, Placing Harry's wife at the centre of criminals and anti-Semites is not an accident. The hate for Harry's wife is palpable. A woman of colour protecting her family and defending herself isn't narcissism, it's survival. No, you don't understand what narcissism is, you clown, but I've explained this in parts. Pass him. Similarly, journalist Victoria Bronwith tweeted, how on earth is Harry's wife grouped with the likes of criminals, racists and anti-Semites? Because they're all narcissists, that's why. That's why. It's not very difficult to grasp, but it clearly is for you, Victoria Bronwith. Another fan suggested Vice was jealous of Harry's wife's marriage. Oh, that's all they can ever do. You're jealous. Leave her alone. While another said it was very sad, desperate behaviour. Politico's editorial director, Ryan Heath, defended the column, tweeting, If you want to write off an entire publication because one of our 600 journalists included Harry's wife on a list, you are indeed tired of free debate. If instead you actually just disagree with her being included on the list, you can say that instead. Vice has yet to publicly respond to the backlash. In her article, she said she was drawn to Harry's wife and Harry, but the Netflix show turned her against them. My natural sympathy for the couple started turning to irritation, and it occurred to me that ego has its limits. And it struck me that the overreach that led to the Sussex's critically panned mega series is the same impulse that turned Elon Musk into a terror on Twitter, that prompted Ye to up the ante of outrageous behaviour until he crossed the line into blatant anti Semitism, that sent Bankman freed from the top of the world to Bahamian jail. And indeed, that's all correct. Vice admits the pair do have legitimate grievances, however, saying even sympathetic critics of Grouse that there's little new here beyond the vanity. She also added that the Sussex's narcissism is more benign than others mentioned. Well, it certainly isn't for those that found themselves on the end of social ostracization, familial ostracization, and workplace bullying. But there we are. Of course, it is entirely indicative of the sugars that they then, morons that they are, start to bleat about the necessity of an apology. That they feel that they need to demand things on behalf of their mistress. A quick dip below the line gives us a flavour of what people think about it all. Wixie, the hate for Harry's wife is palpable. I wonder whose fault that is. Maybe it's due to the many claims and accusations that she and Harry have levelled at the royal family, which have now proven to be lies, falsehood, and being economical with the truth. Ziggy, I'm baffled as to how Harry's wife and Harry have got fans. Who in their right mind would like anybody that has betrayed their family so publicly, so many times with such venom? And the worst thing, it's for money. It's nothing to do with being racist or for survival or anything else, just the money, which of course is a residual benefit. Very sad that they can't come up with anything else to make a living. Canisk, Trump deserves an apology for the comparison. Oh, ho, ho. Ellie Wood, nothing racist calling someone a narcissist. She can state what she wants and then doesn't like the backlash when found to be untrue. Families have problems, but we don't go running to Netflix. Yorkie 53. Truth hurts, doesn't it, Harry's wife? The world now knows you're a, fa you're a fake. How sad. You thought you were going to be the queen and you didn't cut it. Truth 2020. Only narcissists understand other narcissists. That's the only fan club that they have. Spud 2020. Narcissistic, very non-princess Pinocchio Medusa and her half-wit doormat husband. Gingeroy deserve zero coverage. Proper person, journalist Victoria Bronwith. She states unbridled racism levelled at Harry's wife. Has she cited an example? No. Anything negative said about Harry's wife is racist. Again, demonstrates the knee-jerk reaction of these individuals. Algarve girl. So it's okay to call white Trump a narcissist, but not a black Markle. I don't like Trump, but is that not racist? Socialism fails. Maybe her fans need to check out the medical condition narcissistic personality disorder. Seems pretty on, pretty spot on. A mental health condition in which people have an unreasonably high sense of their own importance. They needn't seek too much attention and want people to admire them. Well, of course, that's somebody that goes to the evidence, something, of course, which I've t taught all of you to do on a repeated basis. But the sugars don't. They just see an attack, i.e. a criticism, and a valid one, about their mistress and immediately they go into knee-jerk response 
labelling it as hate, racism, and demanding apologies. Bunch of silly buggers that they are. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.